Hey guys, it's going to Denver again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a scene that I created to give you more options on ray tracing. We're going to be going into materials in this case. I'm going to be showing you how to create a mirror like material like the one that you see right now. I'm also going to show you how to create a material that is see through that has refraction in it and then how some of the options will affect those materials. So let's go ahead and stop this from playing. I'm also going to show you how this scene looks like and everything in here just basically has reflections and you know as I go around you can see how everything it's you know it's getting reflected you can see the rocks and the meteors that are around the area and I rotate there's just reflections everywhere so what I'm going to do to start is we're going to be creating two materials so I'm going to go right click in here go into materials this one is going to be a glass I'm just going to call it glass mirror and I'm just going to clone that. And by default, this is going to create a material of type HDR lit because we're using the HDR with ray tracing in Unity 2019.3. So this other one, what I want to do is I want to add refraction to it. So we're going to say glass, glass see-through. So there's going to be two materials. We're going to also be focusing on this spaceship right here. And I want to show you how the, those two materials are going to affect a couple of components that I'm going to be adding. So to start, I'm going to add a cube. I'm just gonna put this cube right here. And this one, I just want to show you how the mirror, the reflections will, will look like if we change some properties on the materials. I'm just gonna do something like that. You can kind of see that the one on the bottom is already reflecting this cube. And we're gonna get it a little closer to the spaceship right here. There we go. And I'm also going to, so this one we can just call it the wall mirror. I'm also going to create another another 3D object. This one is going to be a cube. Actually, this one is going to be a sphere because I want to. I just want to have a different geometry for this one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on this one, we're going to. This one is going to be see through. So let's just call it see through. And I'm just going to call. I'm going to drag and drop the wall see through material to that. And then the glass, glass mirror, we're going to assign it to the wall mirror. So there's a few options. Let me go ahead and resize this so that you can focus. We can focus on this area. Awesome. So there's going to be a few options that you need to change if you're using ray tracing with this version of Unity. So by default, these materials are going to be of type, you know, opaque. There's also a transparent option if you wanted to use transparent materials. You also are going to start with the default rendering pass. So we want to change this for ray tracing. And as soon as I change ray, ray, ray tracing, you're going to see that, that it's going to be changing. The other options that we have in here on the surface inputs is metallic and smoothness. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to just go ahead and change the metallic all the way up. We're also going to change the smoothness to be all the way up. And then you can see that just by doing that change, let me just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. You can see that by making that change, all of a sudden we have, you know, kind of like a mirror type effect where we we can see everything and if i were to resize this a little bit more and let's go back we can see that the reflections from these objects are all reflecting on this object so you can see that the sphere is there the other spaceship and then if i go around this is double sided it's also reflecting the spaceship that is behind me and also the meteors that are around so that's the first material so what if you wanted to do a material that was Kind of like a see-through material and that's where it comes you know the refraction and that's what we're going to do next so on the refraction side we're going to be just making a few more changes so i want to also do ray tracing uh, and that's going to give us the same look that we have you know that we have on, on that other one other one so if i were to increment this all the way we're going to get that same effect right we're going to just see it's going to be a mirror like effect but there's cases such as in the demo that I gave you in the previous video where you want to see through because it might be, you know, it might be glass and you want to see through that glass. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to go down into, so we need to change this material to be, instead of opaque, I'm going to make it transparent. The other thing that I'm also, that I also need to do as soon as I change that from transparent, we're going to go to what's called refraction model. So I'm going to change it to thing and we're going to go ahead and change the, the surface inputs. I'm going to bring them all the way down. I'm also going to be adding, you know, changing the alpha. And we can see if that it's not working. So you can see that that's not working. It's really, really hard to see. 
but if we get it close to, for instance, if we get it close, so this is going to be looking like a magnifier, right? If we get it close to that, it's going to magnify the spaceship. So what you can do with this is now you have this index of refraction that is going to allow you to control, you know, how much we're magnifying that. So if I were to make it, you know, about one, you can see that now we're going, we're looking through everything. And if I were to change, I can also change some of the smoothness the metallic and the smoothness and you see that now we're getting so let's actually change the metallic all the way down and the smoothness all the way down so if we go back here and i were to increment this now we're seeing you know you see how it is magnifying magnifying that object and we can also get this one close to the other the other material and and everything is working it's we're seeing through all the different objects we're also seeing we're also seeing the reflections, which is crazy. The reflections of this mirror type material are reflected on this material, and we can also see you know all the different objects that are around. So that's how you can change some of those some of those settings. So the the other thing that I want to show you, I'm just going to play this now that we have all those objects in around. So and I'm going to keep it simple. This is just mainly to show you how those materials look like. Let me go ahead and make this a little smaller. Perhaps we can put it right here. And I'm going to just play this scene so you can see how everything looks. And you can see, so maybe what I'll do is I'll bring, let me bring this one down a tiny bit more. Let's go into the scene view. And what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and focus here on the camera so that I can see where the objects are and and let's look at our camera one more time so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let me realign the camera to be right around right around here so I'm gonna go to game object align with view and perhaps we can go a little bit to the right align with view go into the game view and let's go ahead and hit play and you can see how everything just looks beautiful and we have reflection on the bottom we have a refraction material here the objects are rotating this is all gener you know generated in real time i can look at my stats cpu pretty low because most of the stuff are running in the gpu frames per second it's okay it's decent but no i think it could be better but i just have a lot of things going on and a lot of rotations a lot of reflections and this is all getting rendered in in real time so that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.